today I am back with three more very large Amazon Custom Return Liquidation Mystery Boxes. So all three of these boxes came on one wooden pallet and the total MSRP of all three of these very large boxes, the full MSRP on Amazon.com if everything was brand new, but it's not. This is custom returns. Over half is going to be used, but the full price is $1,665. So it's not a bad, you know, that could average out to like what, five fifty a box? You know what I'm saying? If you want to average it out. But what I paid though was only $181. So I got it for maybe what 12%, 11% of MSRP, which is still freaking fantastic. So I'm excited to get into these boxes. These are supposed to be kind of like health and beauty and electrical kind of stuff. And on the last time I did health and beauty, I had a whole bunch of items that pretty much plug in to the outlets. And I did quite well on that pallet in terms of profit. Actually, I did very well on that pallet. So hopefully this one's just as good as the last one. And one of the things with these pallets is you will still get a lot of brand new items. Like it won't all be used. It won't all be damaged. Some of this will actually still be completely brand new. Some will be new, but just warehouse, like packaged lightly damaged. Because Amazon is very strict on their condition guidelines. But sometimes, you know, they still will sell items that are kind of factory, not factory, packaged damaged, even though it's against their own guidelines. But, eh, that's a whole nother video talking about how Amazon breaks their own policies. Policies that they set forth for third-party sellers like myself, they break in themselves all the time. That's a whole other story. So, first thing, let's start off with a green wig and extensions. 10-inch short straight green hair. That's a tough sell. That's an extremely tough sell right there. But next we got a nose, ears, and eyebrow trimmer. You gotta be careful these things because sometimes they are used. And uh, I kind of have some phobias. And one of them, I don't want to touch anything like used that's been in somebody's nose. That's, that's just me. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, what's this? Well, that's loose packaging. But we have a water pick water flosser. Package this thing is loose. There's some of the tips that are loose in the package. So I don't know at this time if this thing is new or used. It's kind of like a 50-50 shot right now. These things do have decent value to them. If they're new. If they're used, oof, those can be extremely hard to sell. Because who wants to buy a used water pick flosser? Not very many people. I would, I just mean. What is this? Oh, it's uh, it's to cut your hair. It's replacement, different size blades to cut your hair with. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably be lucky to get five, 10 bucks out of all those things. I'll be lucky. Let's see, we got factory. Uh, it's factory sealed, but I think it came loose. But we got perf perfect till healthy hair growth stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. It did. How am I supposed to be in here? Sixty. Actually, they're all in there still. Factory sealed packages. So it's still new. It's just a package. Looks like the seal on it came loose, probably from heat from storage, and now it's just, you know, but it's still new though. Oh, these are nice. I sell these things for about $12 to $15. They sell quickly too. Oh, another Andis. Yeah, these are always fantastic sellers. I get these in almost every single like health and beauty kind of box. And they sell quickly. Like I see these other things for like 30 bucks. Sometimes between 25 and 35, depending on the market, what it's doing at that time. 
black shiatsu massage pillow with heat. This actually might have some value to it. I'm curious. Nah, it's only $48 new. Obviously, it's open package item. It's been retaped by Amazon Warehouse Deals. So it's probably gonna be more like 25 bucks or so, in that range. Still very, very sellable. Uh, Panic Sonic Outer Foil Head Replacements. Used, so yeah. Yeah, used. That's gonna be probably like a donation. Personal shaver, okay. A little different, about five bucks on that. Oh, our first curling iron kind of a thing. Open package item. I don't see any hair or anything on it. So that's gonna be about $12 on that. Oh, we've got some of these curlers. I sell those things for, I got 10 ish. It kind of varies though, too. A very used brush. There's like hair and dandruff in it. That's trash. Next, we have wow, an entire thing of massage cream. <laughs> Oh, it's heavy too. One gallon massage cream. New or used. I have never received mas Oh, it's still factory sealed. I have never before received massage cream in a liquidation. This is a first. This is a first. Massage cream. A little different. And last thing in here. We have Studio M Pro Lighted Oval. Actually, I'm gonna give this to the wife. She was actually looking for a new mirror kind of like this for any kind of makeup tutorials she wants to do on, on her YouTube channel. So that'll probably go to the wife. She's been trying to find one for a decent price. So that's it for the first box. Let's do the next one. Number two. Let's see what we got in this one. Oh, I can use this. Yeah, I'm keeping this. We have three sticks of men's deodorant. Brand is called Tom's. Tom's of Men. Deep Forest Scented Deodorant. Deep Forest? What does a Deep Forest scent smell like? I don't know, but I think this gives me a total of like eight or nine deodorant. Um... So I've got enough like stockpile from liquidation boxes to last me probably like what the next year. So I'm good on that. That's awesome. Keeping that. Extra small ankle stabilizer. Oh, still all factory sealed in there too. So that's probably good about 15 bucks on that. That range. Sonic Dazzle Stick Jewelry Cleansing Power Brush. I'm no, oh, it's broken though. Here's the power button right there. It's actually broken into the actual unit. Yeah, that's no good. Yeah, that's that's no good. Let's see next. So it's just the universal comb set, ten piece. It's an absolute mess inside this package. Nothing really looks used. There's no like hair in this or anything. So I think somebody just returned the package and it just became an absolute mess. That's probably good about 10 bucks on that. We got some replacements for the water pick. Appears to be new. Okay. That's probably. Mmm. Package is kind of torn up on a little bit so maybe as high as like 10 bucks or so in that range maybe maybe not oh this is a uh... oh I'm about to say this is like for like uh... 
oh, what's it kind of called? Kind of makes your midsection sweat to lose some water weight around the midsection. Let's actually say this is for C-section recovery. Size small for C-section recovery. I've never sold like a C-section recovery band, but I think it's pretty much the same thing. It's just kind of like, like a, what do they call it? Like a sweat band, you know, it goes around your stomach. I think it's like the same thing. Probably about, what, 10 bucks on that? Probably not too much. Here's a walking stick. Switch sticks, walking stick. It's fancy one, it's purple with designs and stuff. It's actually kind of nice. Looks, looks kind of nice, so. The, yeah, it doesn't look used, so that's probably a good 15, 20 bucks, I bet. Another water pick flosser. This one has been opened up before. But it, it looks like it's still factory packaged on the inside. Just the factory seal got broken at some point. So this here is probably a good 30 bucks or so right here. But just an open package item of the water flosser. That's nice. Oh, here's some factory sealed. Rada Beauty Top 16 100% Pure Therapeutic Grade Essential Oils. So factory sealed package of 16 essential oils. Factory sealed. That's probably a good, what, buck a bottle? So maybe like 15 bucks for the whole thing? It's not bad. Blood pressure cuff. Primacare adult size blood pressure cuff with stethoscope. That's probably good about, actually probably about 20 bucks on that on that. Some of those can get kind of pricey. Panasonic. Convenient vacuum system for easy cleanup, comfortable curved blade design. This this for your nose. Personal, yeah, it's nose and facial hair. So if it's if it's not nasty, nasty is probably like 10 bucks. Oh, well, here's some more fake hair in here. 100 percent vir virgin human hair. This actually so this is supposed to be actual human hair in here. Supposed to be. 100 percent virgin human hair. So that's what it looks like. I guess it's real hair. Kind of looks like it. I not. I don't even know how to tell. Most stuff like this, like stuff like hair like this, actually inside of it, it had a uh, fake lashes in it too. A lot of this stuff I just donate because it's very hard to sell stuff like this. Just in like my line of business of things that I typically sell. And what I have customer bases for, this isn't anything that's in like high demand. And, uh, you know, I can donate it and it becomes a tax write-off. So, I mean, it kind of, it evens out. Not in here, pad. Cure ad. An entire box. This is not prescription, so I can sell it. Whole box of it. Box is kind of beat up on it, but I'm not sure how much a whole box of Curad non adherent pads would go for. 100 of them. But it's brand new. You can't beat that. We got a Don Joy. Left, medium, black. Ankle bracelet. Oh, uh, not bracelet. Brace. This is a Don Joy ankle brace, medium, black. 20 bucks maybe let's see we have just another big brush brush king torino pro wave brushes by brush king i'm not sure how much this kind of brushes go for i'm not very good at lots of items due to health and beauty but it doesn't look used it looks like it's brand new torino pro and last thing in this box we have a bubble mate foot spa that's kind of nifty i know the last one that i got out that was kind of like this my wife actually kept it and she uses it it was like 50 bucks or so i think it was a different brand though so this is probably about what maybe 30 bucks in that range so that's not bad that's it for the second box we have one more to go so we'll be back last one so so far this hasn't been 
fantastic, but it hasn't been bad either. It's been a lot of items that, I mean, I can sell easily on multiple platforms. Like, it won't be difficult to sell most of this stuff. A lot of these items I actually will sell locally because I don't have to pay shipping costs because uh, a lot of these items, lots of health and beauty type of things sell best off the internet. If you just sell them locally, let's say on your offer up or your Craigslist or let go, or if you've got a flea market booth, or even if you have garage sale, Facebook marketplace, a lot of these items right here, that's the best places to sell these kinds of items, you know, like you know, like, you know, like this. You put this on eBay, I'm just gonna, I don't even know how much thing sells for. Let's say 30 bucks. It could, it could be high, it could be low, it could be spot on. But on eBay, you know, after shipping costs, that the buyer pays for, but then you got to pay your selling fees, your eBay fees, your PayPal fees. Got to worry about having to deal with returns. So if the person gets this and they're like, I don't really like the way this shapes or fits in my hand, I want a refund. So then they send it back and they'll claim it's not uh, as described or defective. So then you have to pay back the original shipping cost to them. You have to pay the return shipping cost. Let's say if this sold for 30, but shipping was 10 bucks each way, so that means you're refunding them 50 bucks now. See what I'm saying? Or I just sell this thing locally for like $20, $25 and take out all the risk of dealing with any kinds of returns or problems. See, sometimes I'm saying it's better to just to sell things locally, in person, Facebook, you know what I'm saying? So that you don't have to deal with returns, disgruntled customers. A few weeks later, they say, now I changed my mind, I don't want it. Because let's say if you sold this on OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace, if they contact you two weeks later and they say, you know what, I kind of changed my mind. Could I return this? Could I meet up and, and give you this item back? You'd be like, uh, no, no. No, you cannot <laughs> take this. No, you know, that's not how it works. So you have to work that into your business model whenever you're selling online, they have to work into it. You you will have returns and most of the times you'll be stuck with footing the bill of the original shipping and the return shipping costs. And then refunding the total cost of the item. If the person sends it back and then it's heavily used, then all of a sudden you're out even more money because now you can't possibly even resell it or if you sell it a second time, it sells for less. So anyway, that's just some reseller kind of knowledge I'm kind of passing on of why lots of these items I don't sell on the internet. It's easier and less of a headache to sell them locally, just being honest with everybody. Bedhead, packaging thing is destroyed. Um, six, eight dollars on that. Wrist brace, compression and comfort. I don't even see a size on this. Oh, here it is. Size large. Wrist brace, 15 bucks or so. Not bad. Hair fiber ap applicator pump spray for stand maximizer keratin hair powder. I don't know much about this. The box has been opened up and kind of torn up a little bit, so that might not be a good one. Just more hair, yeah it is. It, or this this one's just a wig. Yeah, I'll probably just go into donation stack. Crap. Oh, I about said crap filters. CPAP filters. I swear it said crap filters on it. So it's uh, for the IntelliPAP CPAP machine. Does not require an RX for this. So yeah, 10 bucks maybe. Oh, a Conair Curler. I sell most of these things for like eh, $12, $15. That's not bad. Another Andis, like same one as the first box. Between $25 and $35, just depends on prices to fluctuate and newer used. Let's see. Back stretcher. Increases flexibility, relieves 
aches and well, I actually might keep this. Great for aching muscles, stress, and more. Like, yeah, I seriously might keep this. It sounds, I, I know for sure I'm, it's probably, it's probably used because the box is taped up. So I'll probably try it myself and see if it works. If it does, I'm, I'm probably going to keep that. Let's see, Essential Compact Epilator. Phillips. Well, I'm just tearing the package up. Yeah, there's there's hairs inside of the actual package. So yeah, that's that's gonna be used. Then we got this as seen on TV. This packaging is there we go. InstaWave. I get these a lot in pallets. You've seen this many, many, many of times. I'm selling these things for about 10 bucks now just because I think I got two or three of them just waiting to be sold. Another water pick water flosser. That's the third one, just different models of them. This was a cordless freedom one. This it's actually a little bit fancier one. Another wig. <laughs> That's like the fourth or fifth either real hair or wigs I've received in this palette. Wigs are so hard to sell. Most of the time, just donate it and write it off on your taxes. That's the easiest way. Some of this stuff, like, that's some advice that I give to a lot of people who, who ask me about uh, liquidations is, what do you do with some of the stuff that you can't sell? Like, it just, it just will not sell. One of the best ways to do it is donate it to a local charity, a church, like a thrift store that actually helps out a good cause, you know what I'm saying? Donate it, and then you can write that that off on your taxes. So I mean, it all works out. We've had to brush twice in this in this uh, in this video. Sonicare only has one in there. It's missing two, so the person only returned one out of the three brushes. So that's probably just gonna be trash. Another wrist brace. That's like the third one in this video. This actually, this one's very, very small. You know, not much on that. We've got a couple tubes of items. Here we have Lash Enhancers Boosting Serum. Just got some makeup. I don't even know. Five, six, eight bucks on that. Curoxin Oral Care Mouth Sore Treatment. So I guess fever blister treatment, yeah, just probably a donation thing. Oh, it's actually in the bottom of, of the box. A lot of felt kind of light. There we go. And this last thing, yeah, it is last thing. We have an air compression leg massager. I've read to see this, received this three times now. And I've sold one so far. The first one I sold for like 60 bucks. I have another one. And now I've got a third one. So I've got two for sale now. But these things actually work. They're actually kind of nice. They actually do help like bring down swelling in your legs and kind of help the blood flow and stuff. Popular item. It sells well actually. But uh, I probably, probably need to drop the price down to about 50 bucks. If, since I have two of them now, I don't want to sit on them for you know a couple months. So probably like 50 bucks on that one now. Actually on both of them I have. So that's it. That's all I got for this palette. That was all three boxes. It wasn't bad. There's nothing really earth shattering. I don't think so unless there are some items in this palette that I extremely undervalued like maybe this water pick flosser since it's like a fancier one or something. So as I go back through this video and I edit it, uh, I'll look up some prices on stuff and sometimes I'm surprised how much some of this stuff actually sells for whenever I'm not used to certain items. But no matter what though, I am going to make money on this palette like this is going to be profitable and that is your ultimate goal as a power flipper is make that money so just a quick little promo drop i do have a new youtube channel called franchise tv that i have finally dropped my first live video as of right now my plan for this new youtube channel is everything is going to be live live videos live interaction between myself and the viewers 
The first one I uploaded or the first time I went live was a huge success. Had good conversations with people, asked questions. It was fun, did some giveaways. So I'm gonna leave a direct link in the description box to the brand new Franchise TV YouTube channel. So if you would like to, go ahead and subscribe to it and click the little bell next to it that will notify you whenever I go live. Especially on a YouTube channel that is a live-based channel, it's important to click that bell to know whenever it's live. You know what I'm saying? So, I'll see you next time, and I'm out.